Time once again for championship wrestling from Hollywood. Juan Cepeda and Lord Leslie Carlton of Oxford, England. Juan Cepeda coming in at 232 pounds. Lord Leslie Carlton at 240 pounds. Lord Carlton sitting on the knee of his man Singh, who hails from Calcutta, India. Pete Meringer, third man in the ring, issuing instructions to each of the wrestlers. And we're ready to move. Lord Leslie Carlton dashes. I say, he dashes from his corner. Lord Leslie moves back to his corner time and time again to get instructions from his man Singh. Waits nearby, asks Juan Cepeda to stand by and wait until he gets his final instructions. Somehow or other, he feels it isn't cricket. It just isn't cricket. Lord Leslie feels that he's been getting a little bit too much from one of our lady spectators and insists We don't know what Juan Cepeda told that lady, but he seemed to say, don't worry, I'll handle this boy, as he takes the smash. Lord Leslie takes a smash to the whiskers from Juan Cepeda. Lord Leslie getting advice from his man Singh, and Pete Meringer starts to count. Three, four. Lord Leslie Carlton moves in. They go into the referee's hold, up against the ropes, and uh, Pete Meringer says, break it up. Just as much going on outside the ring as there is inside the ring, and it's Ladies' Day. Nice leg snatch by Juan Cepeda, and into the stretch. Lord Leslie. Lord Leslie doesn't like this type of punishment as he gets a nice toe hold, a twisting toe hold, does Juan Cepeda, on Lord Leslie Carlton. Instructions from Singh, motion to Lord Leslie over at the side of the ring, so there's some trickery afoot, and afoot it will have to be. Juan Cepeda says, ask him, ask him, what do you say? He tells Pete Marringer, ask him. Trying to apply enough pressure so that he can get a submission hold out of this over Lord Leslie Carlton. Count goes to two as Pete Marringer checks the soldiers, the shoulders of Lord Leslie. Blood in their eye, the crowd calls for Juan Cepeda to tear them apart. Lord Leslie trying to shake that right foot loose and get hold of the rope if he possibly can, so that referee Pete Meringer will break him loose. He hunches his shoulders, gets up there far enough so that he can catch the rope. And Pete Meringer says, break it up. Little case of mistaken identity. Lord Leslie kicked the rope a few times. Pete Meringer, seeing the ropes bounce, thought Juan Cepeda was using the rope for added leverage and so made him release his hold. Now there's not much he can do about it. <laughs> the entire ringside audience is on their feet and seem to be over at ringside to give advice as the police department comes out to clear the leg snatch by Lord Leslie, a step over to a hold. And now it's pressure by Lord Leslie Carlton holding under the ropes. Pete Meringer says, no, you don't, your lordship, old boy. Once again, whispered instructions from Singh. We understand some of those conversations go something like this. Sahib, give him what for. Lord Leslie Carlton, Juan Cepeda move into the referee's hold, but over in the corner of the ring and up against the ropes where Pete Meringer says break it up and Juan Cepeda literally crawls right out of a bad spot. It's Cepeda, and Cepeda reaches through and steps on the fingers of Singh as he reaches into the ring to give Carlton a little advice. Lord Leslie Carlton, strutting about the ring, 
moves in now. One speed in Carlton in the center of the ring. Reverse headlock and a body slam by Carlton. A knee drop, 240 pounds. And Lord Leslie lands on his knee, takes a smash, another elbow smash, another elbow smash, and it's Lord Leslie. Lord Leslie takes a tremendous elbow lift to the jaw. Sapita claws his way forward again, forces Lord Leslie over into the ropes, bearing down more and more pressure. Pete Merringer breaking the boys up momentarily. Lord Leslie staying near the ropes where he can grab hold. He doesn't like this type of boxing. Another smash, and it's Lord Leslie on his feet. Pulling at his lips, pulling at his nose is Lord Leslie scraping across the front of his face with his fingers. Juan Cepeda, another smash in the midsection. Smashes with the bare fist, not alone with the elbow, just the bare fist from Lord Leslie Carlton. We mentioned earlier, Lord Leslie at one time was challenged to a boxing match by Primo Carnera. A key to the kick to the back, another kick to the back by Lord Leslie. More scrapings across the face, and Lord Leslie says, no, I didn't do it. Sapita saying, momentarily blinded, takes another smash in the midsection. Comes off a tremendous elbow smash, another elbow smash. Boom, and down goes Lord Leslie. Another smash from Juan Sapita, Lord Leslie on his back. Sapita with a pin, one. Not enough to hold him. It's Sapita now. A tremendous knee jawbreaker. Another knee jawbreaker. And it's Lord Leslie Carlton down. Body press. Two. Three. Juan Sapita. The winner over Lord Leslie Carlton. Juan Sapita, the winner over Lord Leslie Carlton. And Saint does not. Is not going to be permitted to come in. Winner of the second fall, Juan Cepeda of the Argentine over Lord Leslie Carlton of Oxford University. Way Meadows, the ring announcer, with the good word. Time once again for championship wrestling from Hollywood. At Wilmington Bowl, a short drive from the film capital of the world, it's wrestling again. This is Alan Slade at ringside. Lord Leslie Carlton of Oxford University, formerly of Oxford University of Oxford, England, and Juan Cepeda of the Argentine, Pete Merringer, the third man in the ring. Ready to go into action. Lord Leslie feels faint. Lord Leslie Carlton, 240 pounds. One of his favorite tactics is to lash out with his foot after Standing in a corner, watching very carefully out of the corner of his eye. Juan Cepeda. Getting instructions from his man, Singh at ringside as Lord Leslie. Reverse headlock and a body slam. And virtually lifting Cepeda down, goes into a very crushing body scissors. Lord Leslie, tremendously powerful. The body scissors. Can't tell what he's doing. He seems to be away from the camera. He seems to be pulling the hair on Sapita's chest. Very ungentlemanly move, we might say. And he's called on it by Pete Merringer. Reverse headlock and into the ropes. And a reverse body slam. And goes into a short arm scissors. Short arm scissors as applied by Lord Leslie Carlton. Nicely handled this boy, Lord Leslie, Lord Leslie Carlton, can handle very nicely any of this scientific wrestling when he so chooses, but he does like to rough it up. He feels some of his rough bruiser tactics definitely tire his opponent to the point where he does slow down and then he can't apply any scientific holds necessary. Lord Leslie reaches over, pulling to Peter's hair, and some of the audience does not like it. Pete Merringer checking the shoulder. Lord Leslie Carlton, though applying a short arm scissors on Johnny Cepeda, one Cepeda, the Argentine. He's almost pinned himself and reaches around and gets over the hair. He says, break it up or I'll count you out, does Pete Merringer. says, I can see those things, and he does.
knuckle smash on the muscle of one Cepeda by Lord Leslie. Another one right to the elbow. Again and again. One Cepeda trying to give him a little of his own medicine and does. It's one Cepeda stalking his prey in the corner. Beautiful body scissors by his lordship, and he takes a smash to the midsection from Juan Cepeda for all his troubles. Juan Leslie says, foul, foul. Juan Cepeda moves in and on the ropes, and uh, Pete Merringer says to break it up. Try that one for size. There goes Juan Cepeda to the other side of the ring to try to... Stretch the ropes if he can. Pete Merringer is not able to pull it out. And some of the customers are giving a little assistance. <laughs> I didn't do it, the man says. Lord Leslie. Pete Merringer says, stay off those ropes and a little assist from some of the customers. Lord Leslie trying to pull loose if he can. And instead, Pete Merringer is pulling the ropes tighter unintentionally as Juan Cepeda helps out with a smash to the jaw. Pete Merringer, one of America's great athletes, says, Look, Buster, I can do this too. And now it's Pete Merringer caught in the... <laughs> Referee Pete Merringer caught in the ropes. Smashes from Juan Cepeda. Thumbs to the eye. Anything goes when the referee is tied in knots. Pete Merringer, in trying to free Lord Leslie Carlton, entangled himself. A hair throw, and he's warned. Beautiful slam, another slam, and Lord Leslie goes clear out of the ring. <laughs> Lord Leslie getting a little advice from his man Singh. And a flip right into the ring by the hair, Juan Cepeda. Here's a boy that can wrestle clean or handle a bruiser with his own tactics. Another hair throw by Juan Cepeda. Both boys off and Cepeda with a nice leapfrog. The blonde British bruiser doesn't like the rough stuff when it's coming his way. Headlocked by the British Bruiser, and down he goes. A nice cartwheel, and out of the way, off the ropes, into a smash from the elbow of Juan Cepeda. Another elbow smash, another elbow smash. Lord Leslie down on one knee. More smashes. Knee lifts, knee lifts to the midsection by Juan Cepeda as Pete Berenger tries to break it up. to the back by Juan Cepeda. Out with a crying towel is Lord Leslie Carlton. Nice arm whip. Oh, 232 pounds went into that drop right on the arm and an arm stretch. An arm stretch by Juan Cepeda. Lord Leslie going to try to make it to the ropes if he can. And he does. Cepeda almost pinned by his own efforts. Lord Leslie holds onto the ropes to hold him down. That kick to the kidney does probably more damage than two or three well-applied legitimate holes. And Lord Leslie knows how to apply these vicious blows. By the hair again, Lord Leslie calls. Oh. Up against the ropes, Lord Carlton taking a lot of punishment to the chin. Pete Merringer, a very calm man who definitely rules the ring. Third man in the ring. Nice arm whip and rolling down and a blow to the midsection by Lord Leslie. Juan Cepeda is downed again. Lord Leslie. Oh, no! 
fingers stretch across the mouth and Juan Cepeda takes quite a beating from Lord Leslie. Smash to the jaw, to the midsection. Juan Cepeda. Another knee drop on the head and Juan Cepeda falls on the bruiser. Momentarily stunned was the British bruiser, Lord Leslie Carlton sends a blow to the midsection of Juan Cepeda. Cepeda takes an e-lift to the chin and it's Cepeda down. Elbow smash by Juan Cepeda just above our microphone. Another elbow smash by Juan Cepeda. Pete Merringer tears him apart, he says, as long as the British is on the rope. Oh, no, a double smash to the kidney. Definitely illegal, but what are you going to do about that? Two... Three, and Lord Leslie Carlton is the winner over Juan Cepeda of the Argentine. The winner of the match, Lord Leslie Carlton over Juan Cepeda of the Argentine. Cepeda taking a vicious flying drop kick to the kidneys while his back was turned. And Singh gets a blow in the jaw from his man, Lord Leslie. In did Juan Cepeda who ducked out of the way. 135 pounds Singh of Calcutta, India. Taking a blow from his master. These boys don't want to stop. These boys don't want to stop. Lord Leslie Carlton definitely does not want to stop. He said he'll throw a few of those punches. And Juan Cepeda says, I'll take them. Singh is just a bit put out after taking that blow. Some of the spectators want to mix it up in the ring, too. Way Meadows, our ring announcer, is treading on dangerous ground, definitely. Wants to be complaining to referee Pete Merringer about the illegal tactics of Lord Leslie Carlton of Oxford, England. Pete Merringer says, protect yourself at all times, anything goes. And Lord Leslie Carlton leaves the manner in the spec leaves the ring in the spectacular manner in which he wrestles at all times. Eight minutes forty-six seconds, Wayne Meadows announces the ball. And the match to Lord Leslie Carlton. And now, let's join Dave Kaufman in the dressing room for a personal interview with the boys. Thank you, Alan Slate. Now we're back at the uh, dressing room and I see we have Lord Carlton. Well, Lord, what have what you got to say for our public? Despicable swine that was, that Zapata person. Horrible what? character stirring up the audience against me. Horrible, I, I can't understand it. What a terrible reception I had out there. Did you see that? Were you there? Were you a witness to that spectacle? With respect to what, Lord? I mean, why I the way this that. Zapata person stirred up the crowd, this, this, these these it's Americans, these so-called uh, fans, these so-called sports, what terrible people they are! What an exhibition that was of of, of biased uh, uh, rooting and so forth. Well, I don't believe that. Honestly, I'll tell you one thing. I don't believe that it was absolutely fair to the extent that you were actually getting your signals from uh, your what lieutenant. Signals? And uh, uh, your opponent was involved. I beg to differ. There were Rubbish. no signals involved. It was merely a matter of pacing his lordship. I was uh, informing his lordship as to the time had elapsed, and, and that brought the size of it. And I, I, I would certainly say that there was a continued hostility taking place, and uh, also the opponent was uh, uh, inciting people to riot against me as well as his lordship, doing the oh, match. But so what were these particular signals that I happened to No, catch? they were just time signals we so that I could pace years, myself uh, right. You well, know, occasionally I was carried away and I tried to uh, keep his lordship to the ropes and make a gesture, therefore, but uh, not, to no great extent. Well, there was one particular time. I had this Zapata character in Britain. I'd have him swinging from a high yard arm. Wouldn't we... Me. Well, there was one particular time, Lord, that I'd like to get yeah. straight down. I think that the fans would also, that uh, when you had uh, Juan Cepeda over in the corner, I happened to notice that uh, your lieutenant here was trying to grab his foot. Now, is that oh, the tactic no, they use no, over no, in England? No, no, no. He wasn't trying to do that at all. He's merely, I was merely, merely reaching for something that was on, me, the, on the map. I was, I was yes. trying to draw the attention 
uh, Zapata was repeatedly punching his lordship with a closed fit, fist, and I tried to touch his foot to restrain him from doing so. Mm -hmm. That was the reason. Now, what was this you talking about, the, uh, these fans? I, oh, I despicable characters. I, I can't understand it, you know. Uh, they're supposed to be... Uh, just a minute now, Dave. May I say a word here, please? Yes, you sure can. Uh, this uh, uh, this uh, Englishman and his lieutenant here, now, they have a complaint about the poor sportsmanship of the American people. Evidently. Well, they have no, no complaint coming whatsoever. The way they... But the way he carries on, the way this character here... How uh, dare uh, you come uh, in here and start trouble? Well, by God... You uh, weren't invited in here. Uh, I just a second. Now, wait. Well, just no, a no, second. Now, wait a minute. Now, that is all done in the ring. Now, just a moment. Well, just no, a just moment. That's the now, reason wait a why minute. I believe in birth now, control. Wait a now, just a second. Now, I know. After all, you're still an American. We still have the freedom of election. I don't think he was even born, as far as he just happened. Well, now, that uh, let's just do away with that. All the wrestling will be done in the ring. You're to be obnoxious. You're succeeding admirably. Uh, Mr. Kaufman, may I say a word, please? Yes, you sure can. Uh, I believe that uh, they should not permit a uh, 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 character in the ring alongside another wrestler because it's very it's disconcerting. It's very disconcerting. Right may, may I finish, please? It's very disconcerting because half the time I don't know if this fellow is coming in the ring after me to get me from behind or what the score is. I have to keep my mind on both people at one time, and that's you very like disconcerting. This ignorant swine like this abuse the privilege of freedom of speech, you see. You shouldn't be allowed it. Well, they shouldn't permit the intellectual to be allowed to come over here in the speech. first place and show support to it. You are a limey. Wait, now, 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 let's... There's your example. Let, let right me ask you, something. Something. would you like to have a rematch with... Uh, a Lockheed rematch? Definitely. Oh. I definitely want a rematch. I wonder if we could get Ernie Stephan and find out if we... Under what condition? Yeah. Winter, winter that he, that he takes a shower before entering the ring. No, I... No, that's uh, going no, too that, far. That, that, that's that is going too far, far, Lord, because after all, I, I, I know for I a fact know. that these, uh, all of these wrestlers are all clean sports, and I think the quicker that you find it out that you're here in America, that they are all good America, sports. America, we just been called why, America. why do you come down here for in the first place? The most uh, chauvinistic people I've ever come across. Uh, I'll I, tell you why. Define our word, 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 word show. I'll be... I'll be Absolutely honest with you, I find the, the legal tender here can be spent over in England, yes. That's why I'm here. Well, Otherwise, you, waste you like the American time. money, but not yeah. the American people. That's right, that's correct. Then why do you classify the American people? I'll have to stick up with one, is that they're very poor sports. I they mean, are. That's why I don't like them. That's why I am like clean wrestling. Dislike. Clean wrestling? Yes. You, you call that what you do, clean? Definitely. Oh, what an exhibition of... Well, it was very unfair. You used your fist, you brought up your knee. What else could you do in there? Uh, all, I, all I want is a rematch with this man, and I definitely insist on it. If we can get uh, Ernie down here, I definitely like to sign a contract for a rematch. Well, I'm going to certainly and, do uh, everything in my part. To see I, want him get well, I want him sent back when I get through, and uh, we'll know... I'll send you back in a wooden box, you idiot. You now, swine. now, now, wait, now, wait, now. Fellas, like I said, we can have all the wrestling in the ring, and if we can arrange well, for a rematch... Why and be insulted by a, a stupid idiot like that? Well, I mean, now, uh, the man isn't an idiot. He's a graduate of the University of... Argentine. Of Argentine. Yes. yes. So, that's, that's how I conduct myself as a gentleman at all times. If that's the kind and of you're a graduate of the University of Oxford, is that yes, correct? Yes, that's right. I see. I really don't think that he came from England. I think he was kicked out of England to come down here. Well... Now, wait a minute. Now, no, we can have all the wrestling in no, the I ring. Believe, I, I believe that's actually true. No, no. It doesn't get us anywhere. Suppose we, uh, what are you butting in for? You want to wrestle? Get a wrestling license. No, you was now. See, now, see, now. Now, now, wait, now, wait a minute. This is a dressing room here, Lord. I mean, we can, we can. You tend to your broadcast. I know. We'll take care of our end of it. I, I still don't get the significance of you having the uh, lieutenant, as I can understand, coming over here. What is a lieutenant? A ver a ver a right tenant, right. left tenant. I see. Well, I think that, oh, truthfully, I think it's a What is a lieutenant? What is a lieutenant? For your information, I carry my license as a, as a second, and I'll be very glad to show it to you. I I perfectly see. Well, I know that you have to have one. And I've done it for many years, and I intend to do it for many more years. I see. Fine. Well, I, I don't get think there's you anything all. you're going to do. Well, we're going to try and get a hold of Ernie Stephan, and if we can make this rematch, you folks have certainly got a match in store for you. Thank you very much, Juan. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lord. I'll shake off you wash your hands. Well, excuse me. Thank you, sir. Fine. Well, uh, we'll certainly try and get a rematch for you, and we'll get in touch with Ernie Stephan, and if we can, I'm sure that you folks will have a match that you'll all be looking forward to. So, uh, until we see you again... Uh, this is Dave Kaufman saying thank you and returning you now to Alan Slate at ringside.
Thank you very much, Dave Kaufman. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Another evening of championship wrestling from Hollywood. The beautiful Wilmington Bowl, a short drive from the center of the film capital of the United States. In fact, the film capital of the world, Hollywood, California. Join us again, won't you, when once again we present championship wrestling from Hollywood. This is Alan Slate saying good night.